Okay. Last night was amazing. Last night was one of the biggest TV shows in history. Had one of the best battles ever made on a TV show. What is up, guy? Brother guy, here coming with a brand new video, and I'm talking none other than Game of Thrones. <laughs> yes, guys, Game of Thrones last night was amazing. It was something I didn't even know it could be made. I, like, what the hell? How, how many money went to this episode alone? Uh, one hour and 30 fucking minutes. That's a fucking movie, for fuck's sake! So, in the transition of the events of yesterday, thanks to that episode, I got an idea. Like, my, my imagination just went probably like, 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 come on, Angel, come on, Raiden, you have to do this video. You just have to put it in talk about it so I'm gonna talk about a Game of Thrones IP and five developers that can make a Game of Thrones game like an RPG or an open world so why not why not do this like and you can and you can comment below and let me know if one of these companies does it suits the Game of Thrones IP right so let's start it first of all we got none other than Fucking Obsidian Entertainment. Yes, guys, Obsidian Entertainment has a long resume of good RPGs. And I know I made a video last time about the other worlds being a total uh, disappointment because, being honest, the game looks just pretty bad. Like, it looks fucking plastic with fucking, I don't know, like garbage. And I don't, I'm not convinced about the game. Everybody just like, yo, give it some time. Just give it a, give, give it a, give it a, give it a, give it a time, okay? But I'm gonna give it a time. Like every game deserves a second chances. Just look, Mass Effect Andromeda. Just look, No Man's Sky. Those games, I did give it a second chance, and I did like them, and I'm loving it right now. So yeah, some Sin Entertainment. It's one of the best RPG makers, right? That they made Night of the Republic, Star, uh, Star, um, Star Wars, Stick of Truth. Alpha Protocol, Fallout New Vegas. They made all those games and all those games are good. Except Alpha Protocol. Alpha Protocol had some major problems. But yeah, it, they're good for making an RPG of Game of Thrones. Like, these guys know how to do a good story decision wise game. So that's why I chose them. Obsidian Entertainment is right now owned by Microsoft, so I doubt they can make a game of Game of Thrones because the, the IP will not benefit of being just one console exclusive. Like, I know, Spider-Man is, is an IP and is exclusive for Sony, but let's get started. Activision did a pretty bad job on those games, so that's, an, that's a, another take. At number four, I will go with Bioware. Bioware used to make good RPGs and right now is in a top position. But imagine a Game of Thrones game with the same things like a Mass Effect trilogy. Imagine three Game of Thrones games like Mass Effect, like the political decisions you had to make for your kingdom or your palace or your castle can be jeopardized by the decisions you made just like the decisions in Mass Effect. Like remember, uh, the just remember, a species was on the palm of your hand with your decision in Mass Effect. And that's why I used to love Mass Effect. And this, to this day, it's my favorite sci-fi RPG out there. And that's why I kind of I always will love Mass Effect because the decisions and the combat. Combat wise, I don't know how they're gonna make a Game of Thrones Bioware like this. But I hope they can make it. Like EA, EA can buy the IP from anyone who owns the Game of Thrones games IP, and it's really okay that Bioware can do this. Like honestly, Bioware does have magic to do RPGs, but they had to up their game and do better. Like better, better. In number three, I'll put From Software. From Software has made the best games ever and the hardest games ever. Sekiro Shadow Die Twice, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Demon's Souls, and Bloodborne. All those games represent a long decade of ass fucking your butt games that they're very difficult. And in recent news, J.A.R. Martin is working with uh, From Software on a game. Like, what they gonna do? It's never games, movies, man. They're doing games. And imagine a uh, Game of Thrones game from some from 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 software. Like this will be big, guys. This will be big. 
these guys know how to make good games they know how to make what the people want and the people want a game of their own games not some bullshit mobile game that always take your money with microtransaction no i want some hack and slash killing machine games and that's why i want about from some from an ip from from software just imagine that that it can be made with the guidance of J.R. Martin, holy fuck, yes, I want something like that, man. Like, honestly, I really want that. And really, who fucking cares about being dead or fucking killing everybody on a game? It would be very cool. In second place, I'm gonna I'm gonna go away with the big guns right now. I'm gonna go with the big guns. In second, I got none other than the best rpg maker of of like all times actually and i'm talking about ben data yeah ben Desa. ben Desa did skyrim did oblivion did morrowind back in the time and i remember i let something that um that uh the game of thrones guys wanted to take the game of thrones ip and ben Desa make an rpg out of it and I think these guys were making a game and they didn't they didn't want to make a Game of Thrones uh, game. So that was a bad thing of their size. So I think that's why they didn't make it. But there's a has has the, the money and has the power to make a good Game of Thrones. Just make it like Skyrim, way better, uh, way better and very, very interesting. But more political because that's what makes Game of Thrones better. The political, the devs, maybe the devs. And the characters, the characters must be very interesting. And Bendesa had to put a lot of work in changing their engine so they can make a Game of Thrones in the vision of what people want. And it could go sideways, maybe Todd Power can, create, can direct the game, who knows actually. I, I don't mind making a Game of Thrones game based on the books or based on the lore. I, I would prefer more the lore than the books because we already got those on the series. Why not make a game like fresh, very fresh, like really. In number one, we got none other than the best RPG maker of the century. It only took three games to put it on the top spot of everyone's list as the best RPG maker. And it's none other than CD Projekt Red. Yes guys, CD Projekt Red, it's one of my favorites J uh, RPGs makers out there. Just the reason they make three amazing majestic games that I hold dear in my heart and those are The Witcher 1, 2 and 3, The Wild Hunt. We, um, CD Projekt Red, it's making right now Cyberpunk 2077. I know, I know. And they say they had another game coming out that who knows who could it be. It can be a Witcher 4. But imagine a Game of Thrones with the guys of the Witcher. And Witcher has some similarities to Game of Thrones. And they're actually the 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 author of Witcher and the author of Game of Thrones are very good friends. So no, there's not the similarity there, so you can put it. But imagine an open world massive like The Witcher from the Game of Thrones area. It would be very amazing that CD Projekt Red develop a game of Game of Thrones. It's, it, it's just in my dreams that it can be completed or or be made. Who knows that their game tonight's game could be a Game of Thrones game? Like, oh my god, that would be very, very fantastic, actually. But imagine just being a Night's Watch guy, or uh, or you can make a, your own character, like uh, Cyber, uh, Cyberpunk 20, 2077. Who knows, actually? CD Projekt Red does not stop like surprising us with each and time they make a good game. First with uh, Will Witcher, now with Cyberpunk 2057, imagine a Game of Thrones games with these guys. These guys know what they do in the RPG genre, and that's why I love CD Projekt Red. So guys, why do I make this video? Because I really like the episode of, the, of um, last night, and I wanted to do this video. Just comment below, let me know anything from the Game of Thrones games that Imagine you any developer being development. Imagine these five developers developing a Game of Thrones RPG. It will be massive actually, very very massive and very famous actually. And many guys, I know you guys want another Game of Thrones games. Not Conquest, 
uh, not the strategic one, not the Atlas published game that it was a fucking massive failure. So comment below, let me know what you think about this list. What you think about a Game of Thrones coming for the consoles and PC being developed or something like that being created. And like I said guys, share the video, it helps a lot. Subscribe, if you don't subscribe, I will go with the Night King and freeze your ass. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video guys. Peace. Out.